Hello Pisces, this is your general um, love reading for April 2017. Um, I already tried to film this video. I got I got nine minutes in and it just stopped recording. So um, I'm going to redo this intro. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. Um, so if you're Pisces, Moon, or Ascendant, um, I will be doing a five card spread with the standard right away tarot deck and then this other deck that I have is kind of partly apart on the floor because I'm taking cards out um, to like help with the meaning of the other cards. This has like the upright and reverse meanings of cards on it. Um, so I'm going to be using that to help me interpret cards. I'll be doing a three card spread as well and I'll be pulling a card from this deck at the end to act as an oracle card to give some advice or insight um, to help you for your love reading for this month. So let's get started. Um, your underlying energy, okay, let's just get started here, is the star in reversed. And what this means, actually, if this card that I had pulled out of the deck is still kind of like on top, I will be really happy. And if it's not, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, apparently I'm not gonna be happy because it's not there. Well, that's crappy. That means I have to find it again. It says for that on here, it says, Fear of failure holds you back. You are dwelling on problems. A minor run of bad luck, lost hope, and pessimistic thoughts, lack of motivation, insecurity, and self-doubt. Give away some of your money to keep money flowing into your life. Chance of mental illness in yourself or someone close to you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and say that you, before I interpret each card individually, just kind of glancing at them, um, you are talking to or with someone that's not extremely healthy for you. Um, maybe this person has driven you to do some reckless things in the past because uh, you just, you didn't know how to cope, so you had negative coping mechanisms. Like, if someone, if a significant other was driving you crazy, you might have went and cheated on them, or you might have went and did drugs, or got drunk more than you probably should have. You may have lied to them about where you were going. Um things like that and either that's coming back to bite you and now this person's even becoming more controlling and dominant in your life or you did those things and now you're creating problems in your head um although i would say regardless if you did this to that person or that person did that to you they're probably very toxic um for you um or they may not exactly be toxic, like with this card, um, you may perceive them to be, or you may question a relationship and it causes you to run away from the relationship. Um, now, with this card, the Emperor, that represents your expectations. And what the reverse of that says in this deck, it says, Lack of maturity and self-control, a pushy, domineering bully, a self-centered person, danger of serious injury, competition or battle, loss of prestige, shame, loss of job, loss of control, abuse of power, domination. So I will interpret that either that person in your life is becoming that type of person, or you are and you are falling victim to escapism in some sort of way. Um, now, your most likely outcome... Which, let me just say, this is this card, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, is your feelings. The Eight of Swords, um, upright, is your influences. The Page of Cups, reverse, is your emotional block. So, I'm, I'm re I really think that that person is not good for you, or maybe that you're not good for them. There's just some sort of toxicity within this relationship to a certain degree. And then the Emperor in reverse is your expectations, and Judgment is your most likely outcome. Okay, so for your most likely outcome, I would say that there's going to be a new revelation, something will come to light that maybe you or your significant other, thinking it's you, don't necessarily want it to come to light. Um, it won't be a bad thing. I don't think judgment, it actually depends on your perspective, whether you view it a bad thing. If you view it a bad thing, then you probably are creating your own problems in your head that aren't there, or you're making them worse than what they actually are. And then, let's see if I can pull this out of here. Okay, 
for judgment, it says, um, <clears throat> arguments, legal, and contractual issues resolve in your favor if you wrong someone, seek reconciliation and forgiveness. Forgive those who have hurt you and move on with your life. Find a new career. If you have been in the low period, this card signifies a turnaround. Well, good for you. you. There will be a turnaround in the future, but it will not come without something coming to light, um, and you forgiving someone, they forgiving you, or both. I think both are very important, and that should be the motivation for that. Um, yeah, you have something going for you, regardless of your situation right now. I'm going to go ahead and do a three-card spread. Put those up there. Um... when they bend one way. Okay. Um. I would definitely say let go of that toxic person, and if you are that toxic person, um, it may be, you know, unselfish of you to let go of that person, and you may not have to let go of that person, it just, you may, you want to be able to tell that other person what maybe you did wrong, maybe you want to own up to what you did wrong to the other person, but either you guys will forgive each other or you will move on with your life. But it needs to happen either way. Like, you need to either forgive or move on with your life either way. Whatever you choose, one of them has to happen in order for you to find happiness and new career and, and more control over your personal life. The underlying energy is lack of willpower, lack of strength, no self-control, controlling. It could, it's you, um, but okay. Your your past is the ten of pentacles. Um, so I'd say in the past there was a, you had a happy home life. You were financially stable. Your relationship was stable. Your marriage was stable. Either you were mentally stable before the relationship. Um, and then currently, lack of self-control, someone controlling you, maybe you're controlling them. Um, there's just lack of control in your love life. It, you may lack control of yourself and a sense of personal responsibility, or it could be your significant other. And then, in the future, you have the Page of Cups, and there's that toxic person again. So, I'm actually going to pull another card as a clarification of the future because I feel like that was just kind of a lack of sh shuffling perhaps I don't know I shuffled a good bit pull that out. And this card. Alright. Um, so I'm going to pull
pull those cards out of this deck and just read the meaning to you. Um, I would say it would be lack, like it would be the denial of help from anybody and destructive behavior or the the destruction of the relationship. Okay, for the Tower and Verse, it says, You will cause your own problems. Your freedom is threatened. You feel that you have no choice. You may be accused falsely. Loss of job, pride, and prestige. Disaster and the accompanying unnecessary suffering could have been avoided. Take action to stop this trouble. So I would say definitely talk about what's going on and don't try to run from it. Um, and leave if you have to. Um, it says, a for this card, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it says, a break in a downward spiral of events, new job, but it probably isn't permanent. Money affairs regain some balance and only after serious problems. Temporary financial gain and only to lose again. Friends may be insincere. Family and friends have helped all they can. Someone who is in a similar station will offer assistance. So if someone um, attempts to help you, take the help that you need. Um... You need to take action of your own life um, in order to stop this toxic environment. Um, and as far as creating your own problems, I kind of think it's in your head that you're kind of creating them. Um, and maybe you express something to your significant other out of fear that something will happen and they lashed out on you, became controlling and dom like dominant, or maybe, perhaps, because you're creating your own problems in your head, you are becoming that person, if that makes sense to you. So you can interpret that, however, um, I'm going to pull an oracle card as some advice for you, because I feel like you may need it. We're actually going to keep that one up. It says, um, for the card that fell out, it says, it's the Six of Wands, by the way. It says, a sneak attack throws your life off balance. Others want you to fail. Someone will undermine your efforts and plot against you. Others take credit for your work. An important project fails and your dream is at risk. Pride blinds you to the accomplishments of others. Thank and reward important people. So I think what that means is, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're that toxic person, um... And you now you realize that you are, um, try to show how much you appreciate the other person. And if it's the other way around, um, I would say be cautious of who you're with. Um, and then for the one that I picked out, it was the lovers in reverse. And it says, inability to make a decision, a bad choice is made. Friends move 
on and abandon you. Fighting and communication break down lead to infidelity and separation. Possible divorce, a moral lapse involving temptation. Indiscretion and infidelity, inference of in-laws, interference of in-laws, the need to heal a relationship. So I would work on your relationships. Um, or I would learn to be okay, like be okay alone, um, instead of jumping into healing a relationship that may not, uh, it could be toxic for you, so. Yeah, um, this is all I got for you, Pisces. This was kind of a confusing reading, although you are a confusing sign for me to, like, describe to you things or just about yourself. Um, same thing with Scorpio. Uh, you guys kind of blind me a little bit, so... Um, that's probably because I'm a fire sign and you're water, but, yeah, um, I hope this was helpful and this resonated with you. If it did, like this video and or subscribe, um, so you can stay updated when I upload new videos. I would suggest watching your Ascendant and Moon sign video to get a more accurate overview for your love in April. Um, yeah, um, thank you for watching, Pisces.